I am telling you, the Holy Ghost is in our midst. Amen. The grace is exceedingly sufficient right now. Amen. Amen. And you have Amen. every single right to brag about God. Indeed. Because as we speak right now, we have the female artist of the year, song of the year, <laughs> Zook song of the year, and of course, we are just getting For the started. Real For the Royal Gospel Music Awards. Yeah, and the other awards <laughs> also. They are coming. It. I take it. We, we are just Aww. being prophetic in yeah. nature. Indeed. Did you think this song is going to just have this wave? Uh, I think you, you don't always know. Yeah. And then God does the God thing. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> God did. God. That's the that thing God that thing. God does. Indeed. Do you know this song made its way into our hot 100 songs of the year? Wow. Yeah. We give glory like to Like, it had to cross, and that's the thing. When you make music that can be played in church, and at the same time, it can be played in club, mm -hmm. then you know you're doing an amazing job. Indeed. Because then again, um, you're called upon to be, you know, to disciple people. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, what this song did, it wasn't just preaching to the already converted. Even to the secular guys, it was preaching to them. And everybody was like, by the way, I need to brag about God. I mean, I lived through COVID. I know, right? I went through and I survived. I mean, look at me. I've survived Kampala, you know, relationships and everything. <laughs> and I'm still strong. You understand? <laughs> I survived being picked up by LDUs and, and, and you know, vans and all this, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So you have every right to brag about God. When you look at just how amazing this song is Amen. done, what goes through your head? You look at those three awards right there. Um, I think what goes through my mind is uh, the Lord is great. And yeah. uh, in your season, he definitely lets you sprout. Yes. He allows you to give forth fruit, as he said he will. Uh, because he does say that uh, you'll be like uh, a tree besides the water yes. and uh, you, 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 you're in your season you'll sprout you'll give fruit and that is exactly what happens when it is your season indeed yeah mm -hmm. I mean for me is um, you look at uh, the seven mantra mm -hmm. the mountain and then you, you understand where God has placed you indeed. and where he has taken you at and your story is such a testimony mm -hmm. I want to know now um, how is love like in the gospel industry um, it is. It's not easy because you're always going to, you're going to encounter uh, different uh, uh, tidings along yeah. the way. As you know, Satan will be Satan, and he will be Sataning. Yes. Uh, but uh, then we are conquerors in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, we are conquerors. So you encounter all these things, and then you remember who you are, because uh, he reminds us every day we are not the, the the ones. We are not the rejected trying to get accepted. We yes. have already been accepted. Yeah. So we just have to step into alignment and and, and and take our rightful place as children of God. So you encounter whatever you encounter, but then you're like, Satan, not today. <laughs> and not today. You're lying, and not today. You know, um, today, uh, Selector J was asking me, which song of Gabi can I play? And he had something else in mind. And I was like, I need you to play Awo. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I asked for it, there's a friend of mine in Kigali. Yesterday on her snap, she was using it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, does Gabi even know that this song has crossed borders? <laughs> I don't know. And that is Awo. Not Bra 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 Not God is in other places. It's mm -hmm. in Nigeria, it's in the SA, it's outside Uganda. But did you just know um, from when you started, you'll have your music crossing borders as easily as it has now? Um, maybe I didn't know how how it would go, yeah. but I trusted uh, the man that was leading me. That man can just lead you just about any, anywhere. He yeah, can, you and can wake up you. and you're in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, maybe I didn't know the extents and extremes, but I did trust that I am going somewhere with him. Yes. I am telling you, it's great to listen to her. You know, when I take back to the times we used to work together here, and you used to get the mic and be there, you're changing quickly, you got to <laughs> the camera steady, oh, and she <laughs> goes. I feel like, you know, uh, um, the transformation has been very intentional for you. Because I feel like, even coming here, man, she was on time, um, and I was like, ah, how has that time. Yeah, the transformation been for you? Um, 
I think uh, it, it also has its, uh, its, its pros because uh, you have gained confidence just by standing uh, in front of the camera and knowing yeah. that there's multitudes of people watching you on the other side of the, the screen. Um, so you, you, you have this confidence that you take into the world and conquer the world yes. because of just the way you are nurtured here on NTV and uh, nation media. Uh, because, yes, you may have been confident prior to working here, but this is like a training ground every single day yeah. you have poise you have all these things that are Im imparted into you that you never would have found if you were doing it on your own so yeah. for me uh, working with the nation media ha groomed me yeah. a lot for interviews. You you ha you ha you have a way you handle them. That's why she's them. smart the way she's answering questions. Yeah, <laughs> like okay, nice. You are Let's groomed go. in a particular way. You will not be like the ordinary. You yeah. will step up there and be extraordinary. And I am grateful for the time that I had here. It is exceptional, not comparable. I can't even begin to talk about it because it has made a part of who I am yeah. right now. Uh, to you know to 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 just express uh, myself a little better. And of course, with being in this place, uh, it kind of gives you certain networks and connections mm -hmm. that you probably not get it anywhere. Perfect. Some people would argue you become very easy. It becomes very easy for you to like, you know, tap on to producers and tap yeah. on to other artists mm -hmm. as well. But then again, when I go back to, um, you know, the history of your music, and look at collaboration. Kasi nyingi. Sizilaba. Actually, uh, there is none. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like literally, there is none. There is zero. Actually, there is zero. Yes. Uh, but, uh, but collaborations are on the way. Uh -huh. This year is not a year to rest at all. Uh, it's. I can assure you, it is not a year to rest. Why? Not that we are bringing music chop chop. No, yes. we are spreading the gospel chop chop. People need to know where they stand when it comes to Christ. Yeah. They need to know who they are, how they identify yeah. uh, in Christ. We are, you ca I can be here and I'm just a Kagabi, yeah. but out there, if I step with you in heaven, you have to bow. I am telling you. So, well, well uh, it's, a, it's a year of manifestation. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of power being released to the people of the Lord. So we want them to get as much, uh, as much of it as possible yeah. because, well, service is for the people and not for ourselves. So I cannot wait for you guys to hear what is in store. In fact, I have a surprise that I'll be really, uh, uttering on this show because I, I would rather utter it here, home. Than when anywhere I was else. coming here, I said nice. home is best it's because to me this will always be home. So uh, we, we shall tell you. A collab is a collab coming. Not really. <laughs> hey, we're waiting for the collabos, but yeah. at the same time, um, what do you feel like? Because a certain uh, you know gospel artists feel some type of way because certain people feel some type of way when they see uh, you know. A uh, gospel artist working with a secular artist. Mm -hmm. Would you be open to work with a secular artist? And what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, uh, I, I would definitely work with a secular artist, not on a secular song, though. Uh -huh. On uh, on a gospel song. I mean, what 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 is the it, what is the point of us spreading the gospel if we cannot really spread it to the people that need it? Yeah. Uh, when uh, once upon a time, you will. I actually don't have to apologize for this. Yeah. Once upon a time, Jesus was asked why he was walking with all these uh, impure people as yeah, they yeah. it, and he said. Uh, it is not the, 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 the healed that need the doctor, it yes. is the sick. Yeah. So for me, when I believe that this person wants to step out of their comfort zone and actually do something in, uh, in line with what I, what I believe is the rightful way of living, yeah. I will be up for it. Where is the secular artist, please? Songa Bele. Spice Bele. Songa Bele. Who do you prefer to work with, though? Who do you want to work with? I have no preference because when the Lord was choosing me, he didn't even start to say, this part of you is not worthy, this part of you, any She's person. smart, this one. She's smart. Anything. There's a message I saw um, on one of your YouTube when you dropped your brand new song. I don't know if you can have this one. Uh, okay, so this is one of the guys who watched, uh, you know, this particular song, and they said, I got a heart attack on the same day when this heavenly minister released this amazing song. I put it on repeat all the days I spent in the hospital, and it was one of the reasons why I regained health by the grace of God. Thank you for all the prayers. I'm back. We are more than conquerors in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you can so also find yourself this amazing song by Gabby Ntante, and you'll be blessed to I love you all my people. Amen. When such testimonies are being shared, of just how much impact your song is having. Talk to me about what goes through your mind. 
uh, you know, once upon a time, you know, in the journey of faith, yes. you make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. There's so many things you have to sacrifice as a person. Uh, when God picks you up, he picks you up with all your clutter. Yes. You have this, you have that, you have an attitude, you have this. Come as you are. You have so much going on at yeah. the same time. And then he nurtures you step by step. Uh, we all have the power to do these things. Uh, we have the power in God. We can. All of us can heal. You can heal. I can heal. It's just how you tap into alignment yeah. of this anointing. And now to see it happen where you're not, you send the song, it ministers. Because trust me, the song didn't heal him. The faith he released when he heard it, he believed that what I am hearing is what I will receive. Yes. That is what what heal what helped him heal. Yeah. Yet even the faith is not the healing the healing bit of it. Yes. Jesus is the healer, but it's like the faith is the key. It is your ticket. Yes. You apply the faith, and then the power works. Nice. Just as you apply the switch, and then lights come on. Yeah. They will not just come on on their own. So he applied faith, and it worked because there was already anointing present. There was already the spirit present. I cannot. I wish he could even come to me personally. I would love to hug him and tell him, "Hey, you know what? Songs. Uh, your faith can be as small as a mustard seed, but then again, it does amazing and big things True. in your life." Mm -hmm. Conqueror is the name of the track. Yes. Let's talk about uh, credit in terms of production, but also, man, um, you know what led to the formation and the creation of this particular song. Um, Conqueror is actually a scripture. Uh, these are not even a scripture. These are very many scriptures in the Bible that yeah. remind us of uh, how our father is a conqueror and he tells us not to worry about the troubles we go through. He has already conquered the world. Yeah. And timeless times he has told us we are conquerors in him. Uh, so conqueror is a, rem is a reminding of who you are because in most of our troubles and tribulations we forget who we are and then we panic with the devil. Yes. You know, we dance to his beat. Uh, he comes, he says... Ugh. He pu it's, it's like you're a puppet and he pushes you around and then boom. <laughs> you start trembling. So you, you tremble. And yet whatever he offers on your life is, is deceit. Is, is deceit is counterfeit. You just have to answer back to it. So when you remember who you are and who the Lord is, yeah. you'll be able to uh, fight back, to respond to that kind of lie. So conqueror is to remind the people that the Lord has conquered what you're going through. Yeah. He's going to continue to do that. If you will only release your faith in the rightful amount, you will o always see the conquering happening. That's why I keep saying, um, uh, no, even though I walk through the valley of uh, the shadow of the valley of death, oh my I God, I said, it wrong, I said it wrong, but I shall not fear yes. because you're a conqueror. You've conquered death, you've conquered the valley, you've conquered the walking into the, yeah. the, the valley of the shadow of death. So it is to, remem to remind you who you are. I keep telling everybody when you listen to it, claim it. Say, I believe. I receive and see what happens. Wow, fantastic. That's really, really powerful. So today on the show, by the way, um, I know so many people like to be like you. They like to enter into the world of music. But then we are asking the people. Mm -hmm. There are so many of your friends, you know, now that they're seeing Gabi successful in the world of music, they also want to join the music. So they bring their song and they want to know. But if the song is not nice, what do you tell such a person? They come through, they're your friends. And, and you've had these friends come to you, Gabby, and they're like... This question looks like a mix of... <laughs> <laughs> they want to know. What do you tell How do you tell your friend who is a musician that their music is not nice? Without offending without them. Without offending them. Yes. Uh, we drink from different cups. We drink our tea from different camps. That particular song that you do not find appeasing, somebody out there is dying for. And uh, But if the majority is finding it funny, yes. you can sit them down and say maybe, because it can be maybe in the voice, in the production, in something, yeah. and uh, the delivery doesn't come. You, you, there are many ways of uh, critiquing uh, kindly. Yes. A, a humble response uh, definitely uh, brings down the fire. So instead of coming like, huh, Oh, you may be cheap. To like, oh, the, 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 the wonderful room, yeah. How did the, they say yeah. they wouldn't have gotten out of the studio? Yes, there yeah. are very many ways you can deliver the criticism, but in a very humble and uh, considerate way. But you can't tell them yes. Okay, guys, we are more than conquerors. We're going to be dropping that brand new tracker from uh, Gabby straight after this break. The song already makes me believe that I'm a conqueror. Amen. You have such a powerful voice Amen. and I'm glad that you're using it for the right purpose. Amen. And I'm glad that you actually found your purpose on this song. Amen and amen and amen. Yo. Hey, hey, who produced this song? Uh, he's called Joshua Storm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, he is the one that produced it. You you guys have something beautiful going on because man. Uh, <laughs> Edwin Paul, credits to him, he did the video. Wow. Yeah. So after this, 
what next? Because I feel like we're going to be bragging about God for the next couple of years. And because, I mean, this song, it's going to do wonders. Amen. I feel it. Mm -hmm. It's going to do wonders. And not just uh, physical wonders, but spiritual wonders as well. Okay. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we take it. And I, bel I, I, I strongly believe that will ha manifest. I believe it will happen. Uh, like you said, what next? Uh, this uh, particular, particular year, we did say that there is no resting. We are going to be giving you what uh, we are called to give you. Um, one of the reasons that I said there is something that I want to share with them, I told them earlier on my social media platforms, I have a surprise for you come Friday the 17th of this month. Yes. And that is because Conqueror dropped last Friday and a new song will be dropping this Friday. So that is the surprise. Nice. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are dropping another single come Friday. It's called Binene. So that at least Kasabu Kanyamaz, you can't hear English very well. <laughs> you yeah. will be able to relate to this one and it is reminding you that no matter how little the world thinks of you, Mukama Akulaba Mubi Nene. Big things are what the Lord sees within you. So Binene will be dropping this Friday. Come onto my YouTube channel in the name Sintate. N-T-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-